beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification the bible says blessed is she that believes unbelief is a dangerous spirit is a dangerous spirit unbelief is able to make the word of god as powerful it as it is of non-effect he says if you hear his voice he says harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness god gave them a word they doubted god's obsession much more than being worshipped is to be trusted God's obsession much more than being worshipped is to be trusted. You don't sit down and use your philosophical, scientific understanding. Can God make a way in the wilderness? We say, Is God able to do this? And we go to school and when we finish school for many people, we become very educated and then we become very, very, very unwise spiritually because we train ourselves to be so scientific in our approach and then we incorporate our intellectualism even to the things of god so when god says i would do this say no 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 god according to the intelligence according to this research and that research and god says nonsense he upholds all things by the word of his power hallelujah unbelief unbelief is a dangerous spirit it can turn any man regardless of the spiritual potentials you have it can reduce you to ashes unbelief and number two illumination illumination the bible says weeping endures for a night but joy comes with the morning the difference between the night and the morning is the rising of light the bible says jacob wrestled with him all through the night and he said leave me for the day break it he said no way i will not let you go till you bless me and he says what is your name he said i'm jacob he said your name shall no longer be jacob it will be israel for as a prince you have fought with god and prevailed and the bible says his tie was touched and then the sun arose and he called the place peniel you see when you come to church and you just sit down you are casual about it let's see what will come if, if you say word for amen we say amen if you say word to, for falling down we fall down are we together if it's a word for laughing we laugh if it's a word for crying we cry at the end of it we hug one another we share the grace and hope for next week nobody grows that way praise the lord you have to be very intentional about the word of God. When the word of God is about to be released, that's when Satan starts working. Are we together? All kinds of things. When the word of God is coming, that's when Satan rises with all the demon spirits, planting distractions, planting familiarity, planting pride, planting carelessness. And at the end of it, a word that comes 
that is supposed to set you free and take you to a new dimension becomes profitless see let me tell you something the word of god is not a charm it's not like a genie a charm you put in your pocket and then it just works independent no the word of god must be engaged to produce results please I, I think you need to understand this many and this is the problem with charismatics we think that because we're in the dispensation of grace the word of god will automatically work for as long as it has left the mouth of god it must produce results you are really joking really joking the bible says the seed good seed in all the soils it was a good seed there was never a problem with the seed two there was never a problem with the sower but the soil made nonsense out of the seed to an extent that birds could come and carry the seed with no fear satan does not fear the word coming to you he fears your receiving it and you're acting upon it let me tell you satan knows the word more than many people his fear is not the arrival of the word in your life proximity with the word does not produce change but satan fears when the word begins to give you understanding the moment you begin to have understanding of scripture satan becomes afraid because with understanding you will now begin to take accurate actions and when you take accurate actions you commit god's integrity to whatever the issue is let me tell you something satan's fear is that's why he he may try to stop bibles but his a bible reaching you is not satan's concern that's why you don't see any demon saying stop bible from reaching him no devotionals have it messages have it his fear is not the arrival of the word in your life brothers and sisters but when your heart is determined to engage with the word ah that's it satan will raise every kind of thing to destroy you because the word not understood is the same thing as the word not available write this down the word of god not accurately understood will produce the same result as the word not being available and it's terrible because that you have access to the word and someone else who is wallowing in ignorance you will think you have an advantage because the word is near you but you find out that the results are the same so you, you have to desire understanding not just that the word comes to you you must desire understanding there are so many arrogant people in the body of christ who will claim because they have been around the world for a long time i've been a pastor for many years i got born again 1991 i got born again 1980 this and that and they feel that because of their constant wallowing around an environment where the world is it means that they have received it hallelujah please pray one more time and say lord give me understanding let me get this thing once and for all give me understanding lead us along eternal highway we want to walk in the ways of jesus show us the ancient path lead us along eternal highway let me add one more prayer line a prayer point i want you to pray with all your heart and say father let my life produce results cry it before god please don't be too proud to play this to pray this prayer pray with all your heart you know that your life is not producing the results you desire don't come to god's presence and argue god's presence is not a football cinema where you come and argue and say oh god i'm coming to see if what you are saying agrees with what i know that that is nonsense pray and say god my life must command results this thing can work it was designed to produce in my life i'm not a barren soil open my eyes 
let this thing work in my life let it work in my ministry god let it work in my family please pray inside outside online pray pour your heart into this prayer pour your heart into this prayer lord i've been listening to this thing for 10 years and it seems there is a blockage from hell stopping me wherever i want to understand something comes and distracts me my life is paying for it show me this thing make it plain unto me oh god for the sake of my children make it plain unto me for the sake of the ministry you have given me make it plain unto me for the sake of the assignments you have given me make it plain unto me for the sake of your glory i've been around it but i take responsibility lord i've not understood how this thing works show it to me afresh show it to me afresh i've even taught it i've written books about it but open my eyes i am willing to see i'm not a rebel Keep praying. Keep praying. Please engage your heart. Don't play games with your destiny. Engage your heart. For the sake of those who are depending on you. You may be the only one in your family having this access. Don't trivialize it. The salvation of many are tied to your understanding this thing. You've got to pray seriously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, I want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to me with all humility and with all your heart. Please. You see, when you see me talk like this from the depth of my heart, I wish that God can open my heart for you to see it. Are we together now? It is because I know that no matter how sincere you are, sincerity is not the seed for what you are looking for. Praise the Lord. You have served God with all your heart. Let him show us something that will help our lives. Let him show us something that we will use and wipe the tears of nations. But when we are careless, you see, God, God is a very meticulous God. When he comes to you, he does not cast his spell before swine. Just that his presence is there does not mean you will be changed automatically. He discerns the state of your heart. When you come with an arrogant philosophical heart, let me see what he has. Maybe there are one or two things God can add to me. That attitude robs you of the fullness of what God can give you. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. He said one thing is needful. He didn't say to listen. He said to sit. It's a sign of rest. Concentrate. Pay attention. When they were about to see a miracle, he said, tell all of them to stop all this running around. Sit down by 50s. If you are too proud to sit down, there's no bread for you. You don't eat the bread standing. While the bread is coming, you are busy doing other things. See, let me tell you something. I promise you in the name of the Lord, if you pay attention to what I'm teaching you, your life will step into a state of rest. You will find out that most of this running around is because we do not know the keys. A door does not open to any key. That you are holding a key does not mean that's the key that opens the door. Life was not designed to be the way many people are taking. We run helter-skelter and we think because we are running helter-skelter, that's where it is. We've been trained, conditioned by an environment. But God is saying this is wrong. Sit down. Listen. Sister, brother, just listen at least listen by the time the message is over you can now choose to receive it or not but give it a chance to enter your spirit hallelujah when the word is coming that's not when to gist that's not when to ping huh 
that's not when to send text messages that's not when to download videos that's not when to research languages oh this is a new english language and you waste your time being distracted you see i say these things because that's how satan cheats people so they spend years in his presence and then they can even quote what the man of god is saying but their lives show that they've not gotten this thing father give us understanding tonight i pray oh god that you pour your heart onto us tonight let us see light through your light our hearts are open we submit to your word we're not here to argue with it we realize that your word is final authority in all things and we humble ourselves we truly truly humble ourselves we tremble at your word we let it train us we let it build us you will be glorified in jesus name amen and amen god bless you again for your glory part two we're rounding up we started last week considering a series that challenges us to allow god to be glorified in our lives and um, we took a dimension of it last week how that self is the motivation behind many of the things that cause trouble in the society please if you've not listened to last week's message i challenge you and i plead with you it's free on the internet and with our media department get it and listen to it you will need it it's a very powerful message i told us that the coming of jesus it's not just to bring a new testament when you meet jesus today he's not going to discuss old and new testament there's only one question he's going to ask you who sits at the center of your heart it has to be self or christ and last week we challenged ourselves that the hallmark of the christian experience is a life that has been replaced by christ completely enthroned in your life hallelujah so he's not one of the many important things i challenged us that the reason why we do so many things in the body of christ for many of us largely is, is self-centeredness but that when your life becomes an instrument for his glorification listen that there's no limits to what god can do in our lives hallelujah i really challenged us when jesus walked the earth all his concern listen the concern of jesus was for your glory not for my name for your glory father the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son will glorify you when jesus came although he was god he never seemed to talk about himself he only spoke about himself with respect to his father anything you are doing that is not for god's glory no matter how spiritual it is it is complete nonsense and will not glorify god your life must be an usher that reflects him why do you want to marry so that people would know that i've come of age now that's not consistent with the motivations for which god gives people miracles why do i want a child because i'm tired of people calling me not barren and we have to be careful because our cultural settings pressure us to want things because there are many points to prove why do i want to be blessed so that my enemies will know that my god is alive that looks very good and there is a place for that but the truth of the matter is that that desire to prove a point will crash you down it has to be for his glory the worship team sang it powerfully for your glory so why do we preach for his glory why are you on that job for his glory when your life becomes a reflection of god's glory there's no limit to what he can give or make out of your life praise the lord and um, we want to take it a little further tonight you will be so blessed and i pray that your heart will be opened in jesus name galatians chapter 1 paul was speaking to the galatian church verse 24 23 24 please galatians chapter 1 let's hurry up media so that we can do much today as god grants us grace galatians 1 i'll read 23 and then we'll read 24 together it's projected it says but they had heard only this was paul speaking about his conversion and how the news spread among the brethren believers but they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached the faith which he want destroyed 24 i want you to read it with all your heart one to read 
One more time. There are many ways God can be glorified. One of the ways the Bible shows us that God can be glorified is in a person. And they glorified God. Not just through me. They glorified God. There was something they saw about my life. And when they saw it, they said, no, God, you must be glorified. And tonight I want to challenge us along that line. Since we had discussed last week that the, the hallmark of the Christian experience is not just doing things. It's not even singing, worshiping, fasting, praying, doing all of these things as spiritual as they are. It is getting to a point where Christ be enthroned. But then we must understand that much more than Christ being enthroned, he wants our lives to be a reflection of his glory. That's how he gets the glory. He says, and they glorified God in me. Hallelujah. This is a system for God to be glorified. Because God is in heaven and cannot be seen with the physical eyes. We are his representatives. The Bible calls us his ambassadors and because we are his ambassadors we promote his interest we are the reflection we give men who do not know God an idea of what God is are we together just like um, when I look at you I may not know how your father or your mother looks but I can suspect I look at you and I say wow it means your father can be this can be that and the day I see your mother I say no wonder you see the similarity so God expects that he our father who has not been seen people we should begin to give people ideas of what he is the fullness of all that is contained in him should already be experienced through our lives and in our lives let me show you something jesus said in john 15 john 15 verse 8 we'll look at it in king james and then if we can get amplified that will be fine john 15 verse 8 jesus was speaking and this is what he said listen Herein is my father glorified. That means in this, this is the pathway to giving my father glory. If you ever are interested in seeing my father glorified, this is the road to follow. Like you teach someone how to cook and you say, look, if you want a delicious meal of jollof rice, this is what you do. So he's giving us the pathway. He says, herein is my father glorified. Read on. That ye bear much fruit not little fruit much fruit so shall ye be my disciples I love the amplified rendition is it possible for us to have it oh it's not possible amplified puts it in a very very beautiful way amplified actually connects it and it says by so doing it is in your bearing fruit you prove that you were trained by me I didn't watch a lot of movies but there used to be these movies about Kung Fu fighting and um, the little I know about those movies every master had children all these small boys that he trains around and occasionally they have competitions is that true where different schools come so the masters don't fight they train you and sit behind and those who they train will compete when they beat you and they whip you you don't get angry the one who trained you is the one who gets angry because it means your school is bad it means it's not good so the pride of the master they bring their best uh, what they call it their best fighters are we together and when when the other person is beating someone else you see the master nodding in agreement that's right I taught him this I remember that skill that that is me that's what I would have done there I would have punched him in that exact way you got him right and when he wins he run, he does not run out and just he runs back to the master and say job done as you taught me I broke his leg I destroyed him the Bible is saying God is watching I have given you the word I expect something it's like an investment I made on you and God is watching my reputation is at stake at the mercy of your living out the fullness of all that I am and so he says I am waiting Satan also releases his arsenals we meet in a big stage called the earth here and God is standing in heaven and Satan is saying you drove me but watch what happens watch the nonsense I'm going to make out of those you claim you died for and then he whips us with everything 
from sickness to failure and then he not only whips us he educates us into believing it is God and to increase the mockery we now turn and say Lord I thank you because this has to be you and Satan says God how about that I told you if I don't get you directly I look for your image are we together now hearing is my father glorified that after a season of training you he gives you access to the word he now begins to watch when your life begins to be a reflection of his dominion when your life begins to be a reflection of his excellence when your life begins to bear fruit your life now begins to testify so when someone reads in the bible and says ah god is faithful he looks around where is the scripture i can relate with this that scripture it's not first corinthians that scripture is called pastor alpha he's a life a living epistle that explains that scripture so the testimonies you see that you know why we clap you know why god was also clapping in heaven because their lives all those who came here their lives are testaments of men and women who engage the word and it produced results so why do we clap we clap because we are saying satan shame on to you are we together now satan you tried to kill that lady but she's standing and walking on two legs you wanted to ground her legs to walk on wheelchair forever but something about the world she engaged a principle and it brought that result so god is glorified that's why it is called a testimony that means the only way god is glorified is when your life becomes an unending script of testimonies that reveal the multifaceted possibilities in God that your life can be a book someone can read and say my God you mean God is this mighty I never knew but haven't heard of what has happened to a Jimmy I know God is mighty hearing is my father oh they found it when you bear or produce much fruit listen it says my father is honored are you seeing that now and glorified and you show and prove yourselves to be true followers hmm. when you give birth to a son who does not look like the father and the mother do you know that that child can create argument one day the man can call the mother during a heated conversation and say look there's something that's been bothering me for 12 years i am deeply concerned about the way this guy is behaving and how he's looking is there any story you want to share with me my heart is open why because that child is not reflect it doesn't look like the father doesn't talk like the father does he, there is nothing about the father not even the mother so they begin to ask a question are we together so God is counting you know we brag with his name and he expects that something about our results should have his stamp on it if you walk in Julius Berger you should be able to show me their ID card one day otherwise I know you are a liar and you are a crook are we together if you mold block as a Julius Berger worker you should be able to throw it up and it should not break on the ground that's how I know that you are not the person who just did that thing and, and I mean if you did it with Julius Berger it should come in with excellence but we claim we know him eh, Jimmy? we claim we have met him we even claim he spoke to us and then our lives show we don't know him at all I will worship him forever love him forever because this God is too good I will worship him forever. Love him forever because this God is too good. See, our lives are supposed to explain scripture. Our lives are supposed to be an explanation to every aspect of scripture. Because Satan's assignment is to prove that everything about God is a lie. His statements, his resurrection, his goodness. When you say God is a good God, Satan says, all right, me, I don't talk too much, but I act. How many times have you heard Satan? Satan is a good actor. We talk too much. 
Satan says, you keep shouting God is a good God. I will wreck your life into pieces and then you show me the goodness of God. And God says, forget about Satan. I have created a system that if you act out, you will stamp Satan in a way that you will prove that what I said is true. But largely we ignore God. And then we never get the results. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. If the only reason why you want results is because of your ego, you will never be serious about it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, let me tell you something. And I admit, I'm sorry if I sound proud. But one of the gifts that God has given me, I cried for it and God gave me. One of the gifts that God has given me to bless the body with is balance. Balance. Balance is the most scarce resource among men of God. Not revelation. Not apostasy. The biggest problem with preachers is imbalance. The ability to construct truth so that it is communicated within the jurisdiction of its relevance. And the danger is that our societies are a reflection of the ideologies of different men of God. You can see that from 1985 to 1940, this, when this man of God held the pulpit, this is what he taught a nation. They taught like that, this is what they became. Imbalance is as deadly as error. Are we together? So when we begin to communicate the truths of scripture, it is important that we must approach scripture with a view to bring him balance so that the bride of Christ can be built in a way that she is equal in length, equal in breadth, equal in height. I was discussing with Eddie while he drove me here and I was telling him, I said, you look at us in the north. Now, I will not mention states, but I mentioned a few states. I told him, you see all the traits. It came from the church. We've not interacted so much with the world. We are victims of the sermons of preachers. That's what made our parents irresponsible. Some of you, as you are seated now, you love God, but you had to beg to death for your school fees. And your father has not even called you to ask you whether your school fees is paid and your father is a pastor. So imagine somebody he has been mentoring for 10 years who is about to get married next week. He's going to reproduce that same result imbalance is a dangerous thing so i train you in the aspect of prayer i train you in the aspect of your spiritual life you climb scripture but i do not teach you the principles of the word and you think because you are excelling in one area you trivialize another area let me tell you how to know a man of god is arrogant the moment you trivialize the contribution of others in the body is a sign you need deliverance no matter how anointed you are is blindness you need deliverance I was in Yola, I think, when the, people, the uh, uh, radio station wanted to do an interview for me. They were so happy I had come for a great crusade. And they were asking me a question. And they said, man of God, now that you have come into this city, you have come to do, you know, great and mighty things, this city will never be the same. And they were asking me a few questions, the secret of your anointing, what do we expect? And I told them something. I said, I will never discuss my success and impact as a man of God outside of the universal contribution of the church in Yola. There are men and women of God doing mighty things for God. We may be in different dimensions, but we are a team building together. So I will not come to tear down what the pastors are doing to mean you guys have been doing nonsense. Here I come, Apostle Joshua Selman. I've come to show you the rubbish. You see, that's the mistake all over the world. You watch it on TV and you see men of God with their pride. They approach truth as though they are the ultimate custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. And you know my fear? Many of us young people are gullible. We are running away. And it's clear that certain areas of their lives are bankrupt because they have refused to allow the Holy Spirit step there. So we see people who are prayer warriors, but they are poor, they are dying. So they are bribing here and there, but they will keep quiet and then come and make noise. And then we have others who money is their obsession, is their God. They never even get it. They are on their way to hell. They trivialize every kind of thing. Let me tell you how to know a good church. A man of God who has been given the gift of balance or knows how to outsource relevant people in the body of Christ to create what his grace cannot provide is a good church to be part of. Everybody say balance. 
those of us here in ministry or trusting God for ministry it must be your heartfelt prayer seek balance more than oratory seek balance more than oratory the ability to speak grammar is nonsense if what you are giving people is rubbish balance I will never pastor people who will be imbalanced it's a covenant I made with God I will teach you everything to build your life holistically you will you can be a prayer warrior a miracle worker a man of character a billionaire a kingdom addict that's right that's how it should be he said come and I will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city equal in length equal in breadth equal in height no exaggeration that's the lamb's wife any other thing is not the lamb's wife so there are many of us seated right now we are victims of the imbalance of many sincere men and women of God whose messages we have listened to are we together now maybe they have been your pastors growing up maybe they are your mentors and spiritual fathers and whatever it is and I love the body of Christ but you have to be careful there is no single man who has the blueprint of all the dealings of God we see in part and we prophesy in part so I must be able to have the unashamedness to let you know as a body although functioning in the office of the apostle that that office gives me the privilege of oversight of the dealings of God as revealed to a dispensation but even at that it cannot be in isolation I'm a product of many anointings I'm a product of many graces I have sat down to pay attention to people some of them I don't even like but I listen to them with an open heart to find out what dimension was committed to them that's the secret of growth this pride this unilateral pride that you catch a dimension you say oh for me I've caught a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity and when you hear them talking about the word of God you say, no, 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 no. all I know is that I'm a businessman it will land you in hot water I'm a prayer warrior ah this and that and that is prayer prayer I know prayer can do everything and before you know it you're like do you know how many believers are frustrated they don't just have the courage to come out that's why our states we left our states to the devil that's what I was sharing with him when we we're coming most of the northern states are largely they do not have adults who understand kingdom at the helm of government anybody does everything it came from the church it is that lack of teaching that can make any Tom Dick and Harry get up and bring up any kind of thing against the church because there are no strategic people we are there wallowing away please pray I feel like we should pray and say Lord I insist that my life will be balanced lift your voice I insist Sharato Sakataya Lord where I've been a victim of imbalance or where I have communicated the same sincerely I pray that you help me please cry from the depth of your heart I receive grace for balance I receive grace for balance the Bible says all scripture not part all scripture not New Testament all scripture not Old Testament all scripture is God breathed all scripture inspired by the Holy Spirit and is profitable all scripture is profitable for reproof for correction for doctrine for instruction in righteousness all scripture all principles shared in the word of God are for the benefit of the church all scripture lift your voice and pray Lord I close my heart to imbalance I open up my heart because I know that therein lies the key to my victory therein lies the key to my being useful to the kingdom I will not walk in the error of imbalance and I will not mislead multitudes pray correct my imbalance correct my imbalance it's made my children beg for bread correct my imbalance it's made me rich but lukewarm spiritually correct my imbalance
it's made me trivialize spiritual exercises correct my imbalance hallelujah please be seated matthew chapter 5 this is a very powerful teaching already matthew chapter 5 14 to 16 the words of jesus teaching at the beatitudes this is what jesus said ye are the light of the world jesus is speaking now how many of you know when jesus is speaking you listen to him greater than any prophet greater than any apostle past present future jesus the apostle of our faith he says ye are the light of the world you know i love jesus you know we never study what he really taught the people we just know he taught them we don't pay attention to what he taught them this is jesus now having a conference three days men were on the mountain hearing jesus teach and in one of his sermons this is what he told them ye are the light of the world then he says a city that is set on an hill cannot be hid next verse says neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel it says but on a candlestick and it giveth light to all that are in the house read on then it says permit your light permit your light permit the fruit of the illumination you said you fasted permit what came upon you from the fasting to so shine before men you claim you are titan permit the fruit to so shine before who not angels before men that they those men who have been mocking your god will see your good not good intentions replace the word good works with one word results let your light so shine before men that they may see your results right and then glorify your father see how god is glorified let men watch you from the beginning of your engaging the world usually they'll be laughing at you when you are doing it like noah noah being warned hebrews 11 being warned of rain he ran he trembled with fear gathered gopher wood for 100 years he was building they were laughing at him stupid man you just threw away your career just because you had the voice of a ghost but he was engaging it when the last animal entered god locked that door and the bible said the heavens released their water the earth released their water whoever was in between was a sign that he was disobedient the same way the bible says the heaven of many people will be brass and then under will be iron do you know what it means to stay in the middle of brass and iron that they may see your results god is interested listen please brothers and sisters your primary motivation behind getting results should not just be a pressure for achievement are we together now this is the mistake behind just um, now there is a place for motivating people don't get me wrong but this is the the mistake that many people make if the entire scope of your teaching is just to motivate people so you make them do great things for themselves when i realized that my success is also a message that enthrones christ i i stopped paying attention to only my secret place i started paying attention even to my results because both your personal growth and the results you produce the bible says it can glorify the name of christ when we heard all of them coming to testify i saw some of you standing i saw some of you clapping with all your heart jesus was being glorified they were thanking me but really jesus was being glorified are you seeing that now because something was taught they believed it they applied it it worked for them hearing is our father glorified pastor alpha when your results begin to glorify god so the way you glorify god is not just by singing alone you can sing songs but god wants your life please hear me everyone god wants your life to give him glory as a father by the time you have preached on the principles of fatherhood 
and then people watch your life your children are responsible are we together now there's food in your house you are not worse than an infidel because you can cater for your family you are responsible there's peace with your wife no boxing anybody in the name of that's how we do it in our village you see Christ is being glorified someone comes to your home and reads many scriptures without opening the Bible he knows that Jesus is the Prince of Peace has never believed a man and a woman can live for two years without quarreling and they are seeing it for the first time your light is shining before men they are seeing it and they are glorifying the recession has been whipping and biting people hook line and sinker when someone comes to your house and you hold the hands of your wife and say look let's squeeze he's been crying the child is, is I mean there's a problem this child is about to be thrown from school how much is the school fees 40,000 okay take how much is your rent again 120,000 okay the Lord has led us this is 150,000 and you say at this time of recession sorry is it borrow or give no 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 not borrow the Lord bless you freely we have received from him freely we give madam are you in agreement absolutely I love my husband that person lives with that money and a message that recession is not a personal language there are people who have been exempted since it's not just this year they were exempted since are we together when people are dying left and right like chickens dying left and right like chickens you have a dream someone slaps you you wake up from your head to your toe is paralyzed the doctors check they tell you well something is wrong or nothing is wrong and then you are dying are we together now something is mocking God there and then all of a sudden you find out something in the world and you engage it and you clear that devil off your body are we together and you get up like our sister was standing strong you have demonstrated something the victory of Christ hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all for me death could not hold you down you are the reason king seated in majesty the reason King Hallelujah Hallelujah You have won the victory Hallelujah Hallelujah You have won after me when I produce results Jesus is glorified say it again when I produce results Jesus is glorified I want you to say it for the last time convincingly when I produce results Jesus is glorified let me tell you make no mistakes about the fact that God wants your life do you know how obsessed God is with results the two two expressions in the Bible showed that number one was the cursing of the fig tree he came because the tree is eating from the earth is that not true connected to the earth and it was green Jesus was hungry he ran there and found out the tree had been deceiving them and he said he cursed it and he said no fruit will grow from it again and by the next day it withered number one number two was in Matthew 25 he used a parable to show how that he does not waste resources he gave unto one five talents is that true two talents one the other foolish one said he went to bury it and then when Jesus came instead of him to say I'm sorry I was careless add one more year and I will show you I'm serious he said I know you that offense 
is the hallmark of men who never get results they are angry at God and they are angry at those who are producing it so they create theological explanations to excuse they are not producing results I'm sure he had been saying let Jesus come I will see when he came he said I know you you are a hard man you like reaping where you did. so it's me you are using as a donkey you see his mindset he was not a steward he wanted to be an owner I know you you want to use me to build your ministry so I decided that uh, I even I'm, you are even lucky that I buried it here is your talent and he said depart from me he would have said depart from me lousy and proud man he said wicked one two unprofitable servant cast into outer darkness where there is crying and gnashing of teeth look how Jesus is grave about a life that is buried in the physical when a man gets married to his wife especially in Africa when they give you two weeks they have tried after two weeks everybody is looking is she coughing no then somebody will just joke and say we are waiting for junior they are speaking a subliminal message after six months even the man the woman begins to be concerned are we together two years three years they now tell the man marry another wife in other words we hate unfruitfulness and in as much as you pay dowry for this woman return it and marry another woman that's how much in our culture we love results but when a life is barren we say it's the will of god and we create stupid explanations justified by scripture i've told you the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything that's why you can find the bible in a herbal shrine and the man will open to something psalms 2 and say the lord will laugh and then after reading it now concoct the charm and say take it and, and watch it that is still a charm are we together now god is interested in your results please make no mistakes about it when you walk in divine health and the older you get the fresher you become god is glorified critics may not be glorified but God is glorified. And how many of you know there is only one person you owe explanation to your life? God. Not critics. Not those who understand you or not. That's none of their, that's their business. God. Be glorified. When other people, they say, um, uh, now young people are having high blood pressure and they test you. And the doctor says, it looks like you're a 10 year old child. You say, you are right doctor. You are right age is just a number the word of God renews me is it not in your Bible they that be planted in the house of God he said they shall flourish in the courts of our God in old age they shall be fat and flourishing not wrinkled and dying whipped by life no are we together how many young people in Nigeria look at do you know um, I, I sometimes do you know how people are suffering in Nigeria right now and are you seeing how several of us preachers are so unconcerned about the plight of people we never bring relevant teachings that help to address their pain a man treks with his wife and five children loyal he's a sanctuary keeper in your church he treks with his wife from a place maybe like Paladin and treks and comes and they are scrubbing the church with joy hoping that you would teach them what to bail them out and then you come up and trivialize their problems and say it does not matter the most important thing is that you serve God and God says no no you are making me selfish the kingdom works when you seek him first but then there is a provision for your welfare too otherwise why will we not call God selfish the theology that we propose if not well balanced will make God look like such a selfish God we may not have the courage to say but it looks like Lord everything is about you so my whole life what is my own and God says I'm not like that I'm love while you were yet sinners I gave something for you if I offered my son will I not much more with him freely give you all things in other words if you are not getting it is your pastor it's not me Joshua Selman is lying to you somewhere You go to churches and watch people come and meet the pastor and say, Pastor, five of my children, their school fees are not paid. I love you. I'm the prayer band leader in my church. My rent has expired. And he looks, he says, look, 
that's not the issue the most important issue is what shall separate you from the love of God that's true and after praying because the pastor himself is not rich enough or too greedy to do it he may have the money in his account but he's too greedy to release 300,000 and will not teach the people what happens do you know most times this kind of wrong teaching the only people who benefit are the pastors because at the end of preaching that error i'm standing with a nice suit there's food for me oh. i don't know whether there's food for you but there's food for me after koinonia this night i don't know whether you people will be trekking but all i know is that there is a car taking me home are you seeing that i don't know whether you are going to be sleeping outside i will be lying down under ac enjoying myself i must be a wicked man of god to be walking in that dimension and not respond to your pain who lives in Nigeria now and ignores the reality of the fact that people need the dimension of God that can respond to their succor? They call religion the opium of the masses. They call it a strategy to take advantage of the masses because it was wrongly communicated. Everywhere the gospel was received, it brought civilization. It not only built men spiritually, it changed their level. Say amen. Amen. I look at many of our mothers and some of our elderly people who are here and I look at the sacrifice they pay to wait this late there are some of you as you are seated right now you are young people maybe just working or a student or a graduate but your loved ones five of them they are depending on you to take care of them and you are not getting the key the little 10,000 you are getting is pushing you and now pastor because that's what we do as men of God we now say there is a contribution. Everybody is going to bring seven, seven thousand. You have ten thousand. I forced you through messages and courses to bring three thousand, to bring seven thousand. The remaining three thousand, you are in trouble and you are dying. Edrimi, members are crying. A good shepherd lays down his life, does not keep his ego and allow people to die. Anybody who loves God and loves his people should, if you cannot give all of them money, share with them the principles and let them know that when you rise out of recession, God is glorified. And they glorified God in Koinonia. God is being glorified in several ways. You come in, you find people inside and outside, thousands following online. People say it does not matter. God says it matters. It matters to me. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher. Be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher. through our lives let my king live write this down results are not accidental please write it down we have agreed that it is important for our lives to bear fruit we have agreed that our results glorify God. God is not only glorified in our worship and our sacrifices, which is important. He's not only glorified when we enthrone Christ at the seat of our lives. He's glorified when we bear much fruit. Write this down. Results are not accidental. Semicolon. They are the results of walking the mysteries of the kingdom. You have to write this down. Results are not accidental. They are the product of walking the principles, the secrets, the mysteries of the kingdom. Meaning results never happen. In business, results don't just happen. In marriage, results don't just happen. In education, results don't just happen. 
in ministry in leadership results do not just happen which which debunks the fallacy that has been proposed for many years in the church if god wants it done he would do it it looks spiritual but it's very dangerous the heaven of heavens belong to the lord the bible says says but the earth has he given to the sons of men and he gave them a command he says and he blessed them and saying be fruitful multiply replenish subdue have dominion so if anything is to happen in my life i must be a contributor to making it happen see let me tell you something admit this sincere truth and your life will change nothing of value is free nothing of value is free it is either paid by you or paid by someone for you nothing of true value bishop oedeko made this statement many years ago nothing of value nothing of value is free that's why you don't pay you pay school fees even for marriage as free as it is you pay dowry they write a list and give you even if it's your uncle that grew up with you every day and say uncle i've been looking at your daughter he says all right get a clean sheet of paper buy rice buy yam you would think you will be forgiven no no matter how much you are forgiving you will pay in kind in cash or both nothing of value is free meaning if you are not ready to pay the price for your success forget about it there is a price please understand this don't let anybody indoctrinate you into believing your life will change in the sweet by and by there is a price for the outcome of your life what you see today by the grace of god was intentionally done there's nothing accidental about what god is doing by his grace and there are many men and women here by the grace of god i had the privilege to see their lives i saw them engage these things and i see the results that are speaking now say my results must speak say it again my results must speak results are not accidental they are a product right you must engage something engage something you must do something there is always something to do good master what should i do to be saved that's the freest thing we know in the new testament salvation but here's how a man got it good master what should i do believing is doing something Believing is not cheap. It takes, it takes the labor of the word for a man to believe. As free as believing looks, you have to get it. Good master, what should I do to be saved? That's a good businessman. No wonder he was rich. What should I do? The poor one just had mercy on me. But the wealthy man knew he must do something. He must engage something. psalm 25 verse 14 what is what how are results produced what is really the mystery behind results in the kingdom please write this down results are produced when we have access to and understand secrets comma mysteries principles results are produced when we have access to and understand secrets mysteries principles the laws of the kingdom were designed to reflect the justice system of god and the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne righteousness and justice at the foundations of his throne so the bible says this david a man who was a mighty man never conquered in any war great man did several great things for the kingdom this is what he has to say the secret of my exploit is that the secret of the lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants ah, there are secrets brothers and sisters how many of you have a wife is here 
excellent excellent um baker confectionery person she can make anything cake if you want her to draw your face she can draw it on the cake i mean anything at all you want her to draw koinonia she can draw it on the cake absolutely fantastic but do you know that if i meet hope now and i say hope show me how to make cake she will show the general thing because i'm not serious most likely because i didn't pay for it as she's talking i'll be answering the question sorry sorry this that's the teacher so she keeps those things as secrets and there will be a condition for her to reveal it it's worthy of being revealed but not to everybody so god hid certain things they are not in the outer court he calls them secrets there are things that are at plain sight you see it but there are things you will read your bible and never see it they are called the secrets of the lord the bible says they are with them that fear him and he will show you so god will call you like a conference room you know how you meet a millionaire and he says you've served well come i will take you to a room you've never gotten to and i will show you brothers and sisters you see this my life is a product of this secrets mysteries god will take you and tell you look this is what produces this when you do this it will happen when you do this this is how satan will strike forget about him just do this one and it will take care of him you rise up from those secrets and say i have it look when you say you have dominion it's not that you are a talkative dominion means you are privy to an understanding the american president moves you don't see him moving with bulletproof around try to shoot him before your gun gets there you are dead because there is a secret you don't know there is something about u.s intelligence that is beyond the plain sight you insult him in the secret someone knocks your door and says you are needed in the police station you say me what did i do you say well just you, you'll find out because there is an intelligence system do you teach americans u.s intelligence no they are americans but they don't have access to that intelligence there are people who are taken to a camp that is never shown on tv and they train them rigorously there's something they call war college in nigeria is that true they take men there only god knows what happens just like there are secret prisons when you are a capon and you are a nuisance to society they drag you it's inside the river the prison is inside the river you escape is still the same thing you die there are we together the secret things brothers and sisters what do you know that gives you confidence don't do bold face before life if you are not holding anything don't stand before pharaoh if you have not seen the burning bush you will die like a chicken hallelujah let me show you something please sit down job 29 long reading 4 to 20 please are you learning something this night results are predictable results are not accidental seeing then that god is glorified when my life produces results then i must pay attention to the principles and the mysteries that are responsible for producing those results here's what job said job he said as i was in the days of my youth Huh? read on when the the secret of the lord there was a time i was a poor young man and god i did something that made god come to me and he said joe come let me show you something let me show you what makes people influential and he showed him he said the secrets of god was upon my tabernacle like a library that you read let's see the effects of his access to that secret reading down to 20 quick reading please media help us verse 6 he says help help him please when i wash my steps with butter what brought that effect secrets and the rock poured out rivers of oil the rock does not oil, but there is a mystery that makes it happen when i went out to the gates holding these mysteries brothers and sisters he said when i prepared my seat in the street eight the young men saw me accessing this mystery and the bible says they hid themselves they said this guy is not a normal human being what is he trading on that is producing these supernatural results 
and the aged arose and they stood up do you know what it means for an elderly person to stand up before a child remember as a young man the princes refrained from talking and laid their hands on their mouth verse 10 the young men saw me and hid themselves uh, you're going back again please help us the nobles held their peace and their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth uh-huh when the ear heard of me it blessed me brothers and sisters this is what happens to a man who accesses this thing any man and when the eye saw me it gave witness to me next verse because I delivered the poor that cried when God was teaching me those secrets he showed me something so every time I saw the poor I didn't sympathize with them I delivered them there was something I did to the poor the fatherless and him that had none to help him uh-huh the blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me someone was about to die till I showed up I did something and he blessed me and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy 14 I put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a robe and a diadem I was eyes to the blind and feet was I to the lame uh -huh. I was a father to the poor and the cause for which I knew not I I was humble is part of the reason why I was great every time I saw result and I did not see it in my life I didn't argue and explain it away I humbled myself like a scientist and I searched it out 18 okay 17 and I break the jaws of the wicked and pluck the spoil from his teeth that's authority brothers and sisters when I searched it out I found something that granted me access to break it in the, and then I said I shall die in my nest in peace and I shall multiply my days as the sand part of the secret something was shown to me of how a man can live a fruitful life and how I can add to my days Hezekiah did it there was something he touched that multiplied his days that means there's something you can touch that will shorten your days you are supposed to live 100 you do something it takes it to 85 some of us now have done it to 40 you better learn what takes it back <laughs> learn what takes it back fast <laughs> before you find out you have two more years you learn it that is in your bible please let's go back to 18 18 please right and i shall multiply my days i will do it Ah, like saying I will fry egg I will multiply my days see how we fear death yet a man was saying, do you know in all of in all of Job's trouble he never talked about death in other words he knew that look look we are discussing life here it's just that this is the worst form of life but death is another law just leave that one these guys trivialize Satan they made nonsense of him our generation is so bankrupt of secrets so Satan masquerades as such a great man I always give this example have you seen someone lying somewhere saying his father is a director he's a CEO just because nobody who grew up with him knew him the moment he sees you coming and you know him you say this guy why are you here you are here to bust my tire now Satan only talks when there are people with ignorance there are some of us when he sees us he will refrain because we know you are number one you are not omnipresent you are not omnipotent you are a liar you're a thief you work with people's minds if I, have, if I have a dream and I see somebody with gun wanting to shoot me and all these funny things if I get up I'm not even going to pray about it not because I'm just doing bold face I understand that Satan without the cooperation of your mindset his hands are useless if your mindset limits the word why wouldn't it limit Satan your mindset limited the word of God how much more Satan so all, all those things are nonsense you see that revelation alone gives me sound sleep if an owl is crying in front of my 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 window it can cry till morning as far as i'm concerned you're a creature you're a creature whatever spirit is in you is not recognized when an owl starts barking then i'll come out and check because it's unusual but for as long as you are doing what you are doing i will sleep 
Gone are the days you come out and say, in the name of this house, I'm tired of you. Nineteen. My root was spread out by the waters. Listen to this. And the dew lay all night upon my branch. Twenty. My glory, Shabalakataya, was fresh in me. And my bow, the symbol of my strength and authority, was renewed. This is a man who gave a secret and he said the reason why this happened was that the secrets of the Lord were upon his tabernacle. Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. A king had a dream, forgot the dream and the interpretation and wanted to kill everybody because he was angry. And something happened. Daniel chapter 2. We're reading from verse 15. We'll jump, 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 jump. I'll show you the scriptures. 15. So they were, they were going to kill Daniel and his, you know, his friends and all of that. And he answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the, the thing known to Daniel. The king was angry. Anybody who cannot tell me the dream I had, I will kill him. 19. And Daniel went in. 19. 19. Then was the... Everybody says secret. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Read from verse 20. We'll continue. So Daniel went to bed and saw that secret. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever. For wisdom and might are his. Next verse. Next verse, please. Down to 22. He and he changed the times and seasons and removed kings and set up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. That's the God we serve. And that's what he can do to men. Read 27 and 28. 27 and 28. I'm trying to show you these scriptures. Listen. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king had demanded cannot the wise men come out, find out whether you are part of these people. So you just know up hand that you will never find the secret of God. It's not for wise men, men in their wisdom. The astrologers come out, the magicians come out, the soothsayers all these men cannot see it show on to the king 28 but there is a god in heaven hallelujah <laughs> ah, yeah. the native doctor cannot see it oh. he will claim he can see it because he will concoct charm and a voice will speak through the pot he will manipulate your mind into believing he's in absolute control Daniel said don't mind them they can't see it he said but there is a god in heaven and it is in his character to reveal secrets he revealed secrets and made known unto the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall happen in the latter days open my eyes let me see will you open my eyes let me see of men and women who did ordinary things and then once and again certain strange men just appear and it's like a graph extraordinary exploits by the hand of God then you find ordinary men again then someone will show up in a generation then you find people doing whatever again and then you show up let me tell you something I have spent my life like an astrologer watching the stars I have spent my life searching out the mysteries of the kingdom since I found out that these were the things that were responsible for results 
I don't trust men. I don't trust their philosophies. 80% of the knowledge circulated in the world is useless to your life and destiny and eternity. I don't trust them. I don't trust the things they say in the news. I go to the word of God. Show me the mystery that will give me grace. Show me the mystery. Many people, let me tell you, before God granted me grace to walk in the anointing, there were many people who were talking about the anointing. When I looked at their lives, not to condemn them, I knew these guys were not, they didn't get this thing. But they would never understand. You can meet them and ask them, uh-uh, but why didn't this result happen? Instead of them to say, well, I don't know this far, they say, look, it's because of this. I didn't trust them and I went to God. I said, Lord, there must be an answer. The thing I did not know, I searched out. I searched out. Lord, why are some people filled with the Holy Ghost and others not? Lord, why can a preacher be so anointed, filled with the Holy Ghost, yet his church never grows? Why is it that people can do publicity, put balloons, and it will never happen? Lord, why is it that a man can serve you so much and yet be broke and worried about finances? And God started referring me to his body. Various men and women who through their sacrifices have accessed these things. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. Listen. Though we are few, that's what I want you to hear. We're surrounded by many, we're surrounded by many, surrounded by many surrounded by many they are all over your pride has stopped you from seeing them we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before when people tell you they have not been sick in a long time you don't believe it because you think it's a lie no 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 it's a lie when people tell you they have not been broke they will never be broke again he says it's not true you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. You are not the first to be attacked by witches. My father's mother, well, I don't know, they, they said she was a Christian. I know she was an idol worshiper. Praise God. Are we together? My father, not my relative. You see, when you hear people talk, you think they don't know witchcraft. Me that demons pressed personally, it's not like the one you are not seeing anybody, you are just feeling hand. I saw them, I they looked at me, I looked at them, they pressed me, shouted Jesus, nothing happened. I was still a preacher. I shouted Jesus, shouted blood of Jesus, it had no effect on them. But preachers told me, just shout Jesus, something will happen. I did it, nothing happened. The secrets of the Lord, there is more to that statement than just you have been shouting it nothing happened don't we have few <laughs> we're surrounded by many the same way the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick brothers and sisters be honest the last person you laid hands on what happened you even you you were laughing at yourself but the Bible says if you do it, you see when the Bible tells you to do something and get results and you do it and don't get results, there is more to it. There is more to it. The same way you see someone driving, you think he's just putting gear and firing. You enter and the next thing you are in the hospital because it's more than what your eyes are seeing. Father, as I read scriptures, what am I not seeing? Open my eyes. See, when you carry the Bible just like a scientific book, bring all your tithes into the house and you have been tithing but nothing has happened because all you have been doing is giving God tithe. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Your attitude is the tray upon which your tithe must be presented upon for it to be accepted. A tithe can be rejected. There is an acceptable worship. Honor. Oh, an attitude so many people stand with their envelope you look at the preacher and you are angry lift it up father in the name of Jesus you just throw it inside the plate 
and you are angry. These wicked people, my tithe. You, they say, did you tithe? You say, yes. No, you didn't tithe. You brought money to church. I guarantee you, you just gave tithe. You didn't bring, you brought money to church. But there is somebody who goes with understanding. Lord, you brought this to me. First, I love you. Two, I'm obedient. I know you are not a liar. So I bring this with understanding. And you tithe. Are we together now? With understanding. Do you know many people give? There are people who come to give, give here as if they are bribing. They just say, Apostle, God has blessed you. And then they are putting their hands in their pocket. And then they squeeze my hand. I want to, and say, what is this? This is not a bribe. If you are giving, give it with understanding. Let me speak a word of prayer. Don't give as if you are bribing me. I'm not looking for the money. You see the attitudes we display. These are the things that disqualify our giving. A man preaches, you want to give him honorarium. You wait till he enters the car. Then you just look and say, sorry, pastor. And while other people are talking, you just say, take, 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 take. We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. It's time for you to start learning why these things are not working. Brothers and sisters, I've opened your eyes that there are secrets there are secrets there's a secret that brings a crowd to a ministry the secret is not publicity i we have proven this with all humility and by the grace of god if all you want to do is publicity you will waste money on posters and flyers and balloon and everything there is a secret this is to the miraculous it's not just shouting you know a lot of people see us shout here and then they go to their ministries they clash the symbol everybody at the count of three you're going to shout jesus one like a champ two oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. And everybody shout and they're looking around because we'll do it again and then at the end they say okay don't worry you didn't fast you didn't have unbelief it's not in all those motions there is more than meets the eye are we together there are three areas I want you to contend to know the secrets. We're going to pray. Three areas. Especially in this season. God wants to be glorified through the church. Number one. Number one. The secret to accessing the presence and the anointing of God upon a man's life and upon a corporate body the secret the law that governs the manifestation of the presence of God and authentic unction upon the life of a man and upon a system you must cry and contend to know the secrets that are responsible for this number two are you ready you must find out the secret listen please very careful the secret to living in divine health and longevity write it down what is the key that governs not just divine health but longevity there's too much fear of death. I began to study. There are seven things that I studied in my life. Trusting God for the secrets. But of these seven, these three are the ones the Lord revealed to me. And said, let my people get this knowledge. In these three areas. I show you the key to peace. Especially in these times of turmoil. Health and longevity. Is there a system in God where a man can walk healthy? Brothers and sisters, if I were pretending this thing, you will know by now. I can't be sick and come up here and act well. You will see it. You will know. You will know that this thing is a lie. I don't count. We have doctors all around. We've taught it here. We're a very responsible ministry. I've visited people in hospitals. But I'm saying don't be ashamed of your current understanding. But content knowing that there is a reality. If you don't believe there is a realm of health and wholeness, do you believe that there is an anointing to heal HIV? 
Do you believe that the testimonies you've been hearing here that people have been healed of diseases? That means you don't believe it. Are you seeing that now? How can a man want the healing anointing and you do not believe divine health and longevity is true? It means you are a liar. You are only playing games. If I sit down on a wheelchair for a number of years and one leg is not strengthened and they tell you I can stand up and then the leg will receive strength I say no 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 scientifically this is not working why should you be given a healing anointing to stand in a stadium and command people in wheelchairs where you have not seen you see some legs they cut someone else's leg to join in the current person's leg yet you believe he can walk oh come on I'm a believer oh. I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dwell in God's presence it's easy to believe when you keep listening to junks and nonsense you will be surprised how you will not believe God because when you talk all the people who are in your area you say no no you are being fanatical you people these Christians but no 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 I am the way I am reality the truth anything that is not me is a lie I am reality longevity you need to live long listen listen do you know why many people fear death it's not because they are afraid of death in itself they are afraid because they cannot control it anything you cannot control you are afraid of you are about to travel some of you will be traveling tomorrow to various places you are sweating somebody says come and collect money in Kaduna and return you say ah it's not worth it let me travel because of 40 minutes drive let me die send it through an account I will collect it somewhere I say my bank is not inside I say no problem just do it fear I refuse to fear in the name of Jesus Christ I refuse to fear there is a mystery that keeps men long number three wealth and prosperity kingdom wealth and prosperity you must study the secret of financial empowerment at a personal level and at a corporate level those of us who are pastors here in churches you must find out what is the key I've told you the key is not business the key is not business the key is not business business is an expression of what you know business is simply a platform that gives your understanding expression without that understanding the platform is useless the key is not business the key is an understanding a construction first in your spirit and then your understanding and then all the physical avenues are simply platforms whether job business whatever you call them do you believe what I'm sharing with you or are you still arguing it like many people will argue and say it does not work by God's grace I have paid the price to study these things in my own personal life I still am studying them but to an extent I have seen the hand of God and to an extent we have seen this even in this ministry I hate speaking sometimes because of this because people who don't understand think we are boasting and all of that no we will never beg as a ministry till Jesus comes never there's no need we will be wicked if we do so because he has been faithful too faithful too faithful our dinner is on Sunday there is recession melting people down yet we are celebrating our workers and we are doing it with all gladness when we shared we looked at the budget of the dinner some of the people even the leaders some of them were a bit surprised a budget that can build house for somebody you are now using it to eat in one night that's what happens when you pay attention my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you that's somebody's salary for many years spent in one night to tell workers thank you recession is hitting hard and melting down we have never stopped transporting people we don't boast to have arrived but it's a sign that this thing works I'm saying this to encourage you that it can work brothers look at me there is this plague that is sweeping Nigeria and sweeping young men young men are afraid 
young men that are supposed to be bold you go to school and struggle for years but you are still moving around as if you've never seen the wall of a school why because of fear fear looms many young men what will i do someone sent me a text i think it was day before yesterday that he doesn't know why he married i said what is what is the meaning of that you are sending a text you don't know why you married yet the recession has not started This thing has been prophesied by several men of God. I say it, I, I listen to the messages, I prophesied it. I told you people, those who are announcing that it's going to come and be over. I respect every, I don't condemn any man and any ministry. But brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth by the grace of God. It is not going to end. Not soon. I guarantee you. It will be worse. I have seen it with my two eyes like I'm seeing you. But upon them that fear my name, the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Therefore shall you discern between them that fear God and them that feareth him not. There is a difference. Hallelujah. We'll keep rising from glory to glory. May you never lack food to eat in your house. That you have to carry a plate to move around and beg for rice. There is a way you come out. Or that you sit down and you are saying, ah, somebody, a devil just cheaply appears in your dream. Fires an arrow to your body and you wake up the next day. And all of a sudden, you know you are going to your grave. Let me speak to someone here. You are having dreams, dead men, dead things. You are quietly sleeping, they are feeding you in the night. Whether you want to eat or not. All those things, let me tell you, there is a place for deliverance. But the greater part of deliverance is access to understanding you know i told you these things happened to me most preachers will lie to you and say it didn't happen most people will tell you lies and say it happened to me brothers and sisters i sleep in the night they press me once it's night night i get afraid do you know it was so bad Ejimi? i can hear people talking physically but i can't wake up no, I can't wake up. So you are not the first it's happening to. The day I caught the light, I ran, I ran from maybe you here to BZ. And I stood outside and I begged the spirit to come. I didn't cast it. I begged it to come. I cast it in Zaria. It goes to another city. When we go, I drive it from there. You play ball with the spirit. City to city. That's what light does. But many people will not get the light. And then they say, in the name of Jesus, I won't dream. You even fast as you are rounding the last fast in ignorance. Then they come. You see, the devil can make nonsense. You think I don't know. That's the experience of some of us. Three days dry. The first day, nothing happens. The second day, you say, it's working. You know? And then the last day, as you are saying, amen. You just drink orange and sleep. Just orange. And there they come. <laughs> they rubbish your three days fasting. So you now get up and say, Kai. This man must be using charm. This thing is not only fasting. There, there must be something. There is a key. Or you now carry your Bible and put it in your pillow. Right? Carry oil and put sign of the cross on your head. I'm not mocking you. No, I'm, 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 not, I'm not mocking you. Anything done without revelation is nonsense. You can even play koinonia message while he's playing you are sleeping. Nothing works in itself. It is engaged. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember when I was studying some of the things that God has helped me know now. Do you know I arrogantly argued with some of them? Because in my little mind then I felt no, these things are not the way. When some of these generals wrote these things and I looked at them, I said, is it really this thing? It's not, it doesn't match how foolish I was. Now I look and I, I truly see that I deserved where I was. If I had known the things that I knew now, maybe a few years earlier than I knew them, I probably would have been 10 times better than I am. And that time, sadly, there were not many people around who had really gotten this case. Everybody was trying. Some of us had the privilege to be the ones leading people. And so as you were leading, you were just hoping you were right. May you walk with accuracy. That if you receive a text now, listen, you receive a text now as I'm speaking, and someone says, we're waiting for you in front of your house. 
you must die this night you won't see us but we have said something good day some people will just say i feel like praying around here that's what i used to do hallelujah a gentleman went to steal recently in my house he got charm from zaria city tied it got charm tied it they still caught him can you imagine while koinonia was going on he was trying to steal they still caught him he shall put his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone I know you don't believe it just say oh yes yes but you must believe it and say this is true so a man looks at you and threatens you and say if both of us wake up tomorrow you must die and you say you know you will sleep too Abi. tell him the person boasting you are not doing night vigil you too you will be you will be sleeping for six hours you will not know what is happening where is the angel of death that swept over arrogant Egypt and some people did not wake up any man playing with your life and prophesying to you is playing with death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ don't fear men don't let any man threaten you because of anything you threaten God's elect he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm brothers and sisters you are immune but this thing is not just hearsay please every lady lay your hands on your womb prophesy to yourself in one minute and say me and barrenness are like the east and the west we will never meet go ahead and pray there's a reason why i'm saying that lay your hands on your womb and prophesy no barrenness don't let anybody tell you oh it's because everybody is eating spaghetti now we are eating this and cancer is multiplying fibroid is multiplying cause it God is glorified in my body I have no business with barrenness this womb will carry boys and girls prophesy to yourself don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy hallelujah brothers lay your hands on your head and say the secrets of wealth must come upon me lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord you are showing me the secrets God is giving me a great ministry there's much to do for the kingdom I don't have the time to be thinking about money no it's a cost I don't have the time to leave my assignment leave everything money 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 grant me grace to get this key and move on to do important kingdom things in my life can't spend 60 years of my life just daydreaming and being obsessed about money Canality over money show me the keys let me not put anybody's daughter on that trouble let me not raise children and punish them because of ignorance please pray you will thank me for what you are doing today Lord I'm tired this thing has a way there is a way out show it to me there is a way out oh there is a way out hallelujah now everyone I want you to pray while you are seated will soon stand up but I like you to command every area of your life that has not been working don't just command it to work say Lord the secret to make it work please show me even if it's something that has been taught but my eyes have not seen show it to me Sato Sabalakata. my spiritual life is going down and down and down I can't pray for 10 minutes I've tried and tried and tried there is a devil so we're trying to stop me lord what is the secret to a consistent prayer life what is the secret to a consistent word life i'm tired of this not studying the word i've been lying to people that i study my bible i know i'm not studying it i don't have an appetite for god something is wrong show me the secret i pray and nothing happens i say the same thing anointed people say but nothing happens what is the key to the anointing coming into my life let me speak and let there be results for your glory 
pray for your health. Lord, I'm tired. I've spent over 100,000 on my body this year. I've spent over 500,000. I don't even know what is wrong with me now. I know you desire to be glorified in my body. I'm tired of being afraid of death. I'm a man of God, but I fear death. I'm a woman of God, but I fear death. I fear assaults of terrorism. I fear accidents. I fear the operations of witches and wizards. There's something I need to know. I'm tired of living in fear. Pray. Pray. I'm tired of going to my village because I think I will not come back 2017. I'm tired that they may charm me. Oh, give me access. Give me access. Give me access. Sato Kapai. Access, pray. Soparika tekete, rakoshala, lekaria soto baria tabala tabala. Longevity, Lord, let me be as as confident as I am sitting on my seat to know I will live long. Let me be confident. And the secret was revealed to Daniel and the secret was revealed to Daniel and the secret was revealed to Daniel finally pray I must break the back of poverty is my agreement with God is my covenant with God to the fourth generation no one has prospered in my family until they serve idols i will not serve idols and i will prosper for the glory of the name of the lord i will not serve idols and i will prosper i will not bribe and i will prosper i will not cheat and i will prosper i will not play fraudulence and i will prosper there is a secret that must be shown to me i know i'm a young man but I must prosper. Employment or no employment. Recession or no recession. There is a secret. Show it to me, oh God. Now jump on your feet and pray for any other area that has refused to work i challenge you show me the secret why have i not entered a relationship oh god why are men running away from me show it to me so when i gather it scatters when i gather it scatters show me why although i've been delivered I'm still seeing family patterns in my life. The failures of my father's house is still reflecting in my life, although I'm praying in tongues. For the next three minutes, pray in the spirit, blasting tongues. Something must open in the heavens. Something must open. Lord, I must deliver my family. I must deliver my lineage. Tired of poverty. Tired of struggling. Tired of a resultless Christian life. Tired of a life burning of the anointing. Lord, it's not working in my life. I have to admit it this night. Pray, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Why is it not working? I knock on the gates of heaven. I demand an explanation. Nobody is rising in my family. Nothing is working. They serve you, yet no door is open. Oh, pray, pray, don't be tired. 
Embretos Kapraska Lekete Shakata Praska Lakato Shadalika Embreso Sete Dekete Mambro Sekete Kelebo Soto Balara Balara Hallelujah. Hearing is my father glorified. When you bear much fruit. Listen. Listen. I want you in the next one minute to pray violently. Knock on the door that controls results. And say Lord for your glory. It's my, it's my turn to testify. I told you nothing happens. For everyone that asks it, receive it. Lord, I've never really had a testimony this year. Why is that so? No one has favored me. No door has opened. No deliverance has happened. Soto Barada Balaraba, Shekata Preta Sada Balaraba Balaraba, Rakata Pakurata Pareta Kate, Shekata Kate Barada Balada 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 Kala barada balada baka sada balada gada balada ba eke teke toso to balada balada ba shopras kopete ke shekete 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 embre to koto prato la ba ba ba. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now and Christmas, when we celebrate your coming, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you, if you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. I agree with you, Shapata. Open strange doors. 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 Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in before Christmas. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout this after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed, assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life. I challenge you by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Ancestral powers, yokes, spirits, ordinances written in the heavenlies. 
enchanted by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over Koinonia the angels assigned over Koinonia we release you by the word of God the angels assigned over God's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of Jesus bring miracles bring signs bring wonders Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket the ten thousand finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left god because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear, there's no fear. I refuse to fear. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. 
Say unto the righteous, Koinoni, are you praying tonight? Don't look around, pray. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Fear of marriage, fear of children. Fear of terrorism. after me in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life from January till now that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you that between now and December 25th I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business. Prosper my ministry. I still believe. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you have prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from January to now, I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. But you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction. The unction that teaches men. Things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light. That illumination. Shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation, 
Listen. A man can wear the inner wares of a woman. Watch this. And be moving on the street. And that man returns back. And blessings keep following him. A very stupid man. But good things are happening in his life. Let me tell you why. It's because of the covenant of the fathers. There were people who signed an agreement and said, Lord, we give this nation to you. Anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing. And so, a woman, a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive. In Nigeria, you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he will die. Was it the knife that killed him? Are the doctors so daft? Let me tell you what our forefathers left with us. Ready? This is what they left. They went to mountains, valleys, regions. Listen. And all kinds of ancestry. We can fake it and pretend. Listen. I'm a new creation person. I've read the Pauline epistles. Are you getting what I'm saying? I understand the grace of God and the new creation realities very well. But I know God and I understand his ways. Are you following me now? Please come, two people, very quickly. So that any two, no, no, sit down, Pastor Fami. I promise you can come. Come, stand here, stand here. Watch this. In my example, this guy is a thief. This guy is a wrong occupant. Watch this. If this is my handkerchief and Ken comes to quickly steal it, the moment he hears the, my footsteps, what will he do? He will run away because he's a what? Thief. But if somebody comes and meets promise and says, promise, give me 10 naira, I will give you this handkerchief. And promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief. Is there a contract there? Is there a covenant there? If he sees me coming, will he refuse? Because you see, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, our forefathers went to idols and they said, protect our wives. Make the plants bring crops for us. In response, we will hold festivals every time. In response, we will donate children to you. In response, they, it was not their fault. They did it because Christianity had not come to Nigeria. Now watch this. When Samuel Ajayi Crowder and many other Christians came, they brought the gospel of salvation, not the mysteries of the kingdom. Are you getting me? They brought the gospel and we salute them. But that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest, even where there was no rain, mysteriously the crops grew. These spirits kept their part of the contract. All of a sudden, some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said, we brought good news and they died in three days. The spirit killed them immediately and said, you are joking, good news of what? And then a few people received it. And then when they received it, they convinced themselves that because they are born again, the territory was now changed. I watched a documentary, brothers and sisters, in Fiji Island. Fiji Island is an island, small island, but 
they love God now. Something happened. There were missionaries who came to that place. And they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them. Before the missionaries died, they cursed the land. They cursed the land and the people and they died. And the people thought it did not matter. One by one, the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously. When hunger hit the people from the government down, they said something is wrong. And God began to reveal to the church around here that look, there are, there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed. This is what they did. They began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries. Listen to me. They brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city. They loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people I'm not telling you stories. I'm telling you what I was free from. Number two, ignorance. Ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people. Psalm 82 verse 5. Bless you guys, thank you. They know not, neither will they understand. They crop in darkness, confusion, ignorance. And as a result, the earth is out of course. But have I not said, verse 6, Ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. He said, But you shall die like men, men, and fall like one of these princes. The Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Ignorance. Ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom. Ignorance of the principles of the kingdom. Ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit. Number three, disobedience. personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the Bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected, when it is complete. Disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives. Don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God, nothing happens. No. It's not about God doing it. It's about the laws in the spirit. They will not change. They didn't start with the Old Testament. Those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully. Especially for those of us who have come. Have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other? That does not mean you are not born again. That does not mean you are not serious with God. But it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say, no way. I come by the blood. I come to challenge these things. There are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life. 
somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen i tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time i remember our school getting ultimate power so that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army that this situation in your life must end i sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies a testimony is simply what happens when the holy spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life any other spirit must create problems tonight daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed be addressed that's why i told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what jesus did to the woman who was bound he looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years and he said woman thou art loose loose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirits heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman 
and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 5 points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me 
Up on your feet and sing it one more time. Oh, Say, the lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Listen, deliverance, therefore, is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. The legal separation. Brothers and sisters, when that happens to you, then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and god is ready for us tonight i tell you god is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation Lord I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you. Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power. Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Just the voices, sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar. The power that can challenge any force of witchcraft. Any generational cause. One more time, sing it. that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love your love say your love Hallelujah. Lift up your voice right now 
and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit behind failures challenge the spirit behind marital delays challenge the spirit Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Bata, 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 bata,
it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. It's for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire some of you visions your eyes will be open in the spirit you will see covens catching fire Matalabata, father you told me tonight is a night of deliverance there are families under bondage there are businesses under bondage enough is enough let your fire bring deliverance are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three i command covens i command altars i command spirits bring them out fire fire brings deliverance tonight hallelujah hallelujah the holy ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here i see many people vomiting poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata shaka ta 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 mare tende tepa father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we are victim one two three shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 shaka ta 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 a protos mokotos lekotos pronto tokote eriakata he must let you go he must let you go you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives My goodness, 
fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the Lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now Lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now he must leave you now hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out i don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am a, i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers every witchcraft that attempts to connect me no i'm in christ I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now. Right now. And make your way to the front. I see someone having severe pain. Your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah There are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now i see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision 
a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now i'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out i'm hearing a name asabe i don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family asabe asabe i'm hearing that name who is asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again no oh. eh? this you are asabe. please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give a run let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic Lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the Lord I am the girl who the man of God prophesied I have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once I put my hand I I always notice blood coming out but now I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people. Let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are confession. talking, there is a lady who will come strongly me. under the anointing outside. Please speak that lady and bring her as we're talking the power of god is in fact two ladies 
two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it starts it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now it's gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down Praise the yes Lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest but now i feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give jesus praise yes please praise god while he was preaching i was having peptic ulcer so I peptic ulcer out, but while we started praying it left me and there's I'm one more outside go and carry her Jesus. it left me immediately now i'm not feeling it again. no pain again give jesus praise yes ma'am praise the, praise the lord i used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002 but um when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games, please. Check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening as, as a point of contact. As a point of contact. I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump. I'm seeing one on the left, left side. Please check it, check it. When you receive a miracle, testimony is one way to seal it and keep it. The Lord is showing me three ladies. Your hair falls. Every time you go to comb your hair, you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing. 
this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. help I us sound please can you help us with this mic i used to have this pen down my stomach here but now i'm, I'm not feeling completely pain. gone yes are you sure yes. how long has it been Delicious. come on koinonia let's not get too used to miracles in this place <laughs> hallelujah it never returns to you in the name of jesus christ the next person please my goodness look at what god is doing god is giving people miracles go ahead my name is like i'm pregnant it's to come like pain as in i'm pregnant and i've been complaining that for months but today when the prayer was going on i felt relieved and my stomach in fact down. as she was talking hold on the lord opened my eyes there is a lady your stomach is already swelling this is almost it's even beginning to embarrass you it's not just like a stomach protruding you are feeling it very hard and stiff and it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid. Please check it right now. God is giving you a miracle. God is giving you a miracle. God bless you. Bless you quickly. When they say we should shout, praise the Lord. So I now shout. The stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria, but I can't feel it again. Completely gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. It never returns again. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Um, recently, I started having this eye pain. When I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. If Jesus prays, it never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance. And complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that god is to give me every day when i'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time i try to push further i realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what has right happened? now when at the mention of the name jesus i felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes. of that creativity yes, co comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika concerning pain. In the pain. Joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. Yes. And now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. The Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself, and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, where you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. The power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, and, um, it's okay. Um, there's this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I noticed 
like swelling up and sometimes i very i feel like very a swelling there yeah. yeah and I now feel, have you checked it yes I, is there I, anything I there completely okay. gone come on give jesus praise it never returns again in the name of jesus christ praise the lord i don't thank god for the spirit of fear as in i do get scared a lot but i now i'm free in the, name the of spirit of fear come it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I, was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know, sometimes 2nd of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her, fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced, I I've saw been that shaking, a baby, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm not pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's if she's out because she's sick, Mama is on as I make her door, please. You people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming on, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her please the lord is is wiping the tears in your family you believe that when a word comes like it it comes to give you liberty hold my hands father in the name of jesus i end this oppression in this family right now it goes forever in the name of jesus who has an elder brother who has an elder brother do, do you have an elder brother yes. what is he doing he's a carpenter he's a carpenter yes the person i'm i'm talking about didn't go to school though is your brother he's, where is he he's in the village he's in the village god is going to lift him what is this thing that i'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it it's not his fault that he didn't go to school even you is by the grace of god that you are here it's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that is the favor of god yes but god as a sign go and tell him call him after koinonia that the lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man he should be faithful to that man Amen. that man will bless him Amen. father let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of jesus asabe gabriel oh your name is gabriel your name too is gabriel sir who is titi Lyo? titi Lyo. i'm hearing a name titi Lyo. Please let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Layo. I'm hearing the name Titi Layo. Titi Layo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir. It won't be too long you are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is no word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray. Right now that you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing. No, sir. You are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. 
Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show Mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lion. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her. Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is yes, that sir. true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then, don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. The power and love our God is an awesome God. Our God Please clear the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer requests ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do might, you do glory, you do glory, you are a faithful God, awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ you 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well done, sir. Please sit down. Who's your dad? Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen because it's been long I saw him. Breathe well, and at the same time, he's having problem with mama. None of his children look at him except me. The same problem that mama is having, like faith boy, it's just similar thing. We are eight. Yeah. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, 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 daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, O oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now. As I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ and there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, your oh God, awesome is your name, you do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a faithful God, awesome is your name. Look at a very serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe, listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How will you like to have a child? That do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names, we lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now, let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now, in the name of Jesus.
out of her right now. Let her go. Out. Out of her. Out. Out. Release her right now. Madam is saying, sorry, who brought her? I say, I, I go village, now I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them several souls. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. Yes, this is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In Jaham, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. This is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a well wind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law that he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it go in this place. If you know you smoke it go or codeine, altar, once I make the altar call, just run and come and kneel down here because tonight is your night of salvation please don't play games with your destiny anything you smoke anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency the moment there's time for altar call please make your way here we love you but then the lord wants to touch you let's hurry up because our time is gone your name is here. out
Request right now. At the same time, an altar call is co- as an altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to. Now is the time. You can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad. We're a family, and any other person, 
there are those who are saying lord i'm tired of the way my life is i need a new beginning as we pray please come and wait here join this lady very quickly celebrate them as they come inside and outside please let's save time celebrate them as they come inside and outside god bless you a new beginning god is giving you a new beginning don't be ashamed don't be embarrassed you are saying lord jesus i make up my mind to walk with you god bless you god bless you koinonia are you celebrating them god is saving sinners keep coming from outside please clear the way for them if they are coming salvation is a very serious issue clear the way for them so that they'll come don't let any devil stop you you are welcome i know we're out of time but please make your way to the front right now make your way to the front we love you no man condemns you he can give you a new beginning hallelujah hallelujah i salute every one of you here i don't care what you have done or what you have not done i want you to know that his majesty can give you a new beginning hallelujah lift your right hand and say after me say lord jesus i believe in you i believe you died and rose again i'm tired of the way my life is i surrender everything to you seriously and completely from this night take over my life be my lord and savior let your life come upon me i break free from habits from sins and everything that destroys my life from today i'm a child of god i am saved in the name of jesus let me pray for you lord i thank you for these ones unashamedly they have come before you preserve them by your power in the name of the lord jesus i pray that you will use them mightily in the name of jesus i break the power of sin over your life you will never return especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking you will never return to it again in the name of jesus christ that power is broken from off your life in the name of jesus christ now i want you to follow a gentleman they will have your details and then on tuesday unfailingly please be around um meet with the prayer department and um will fire you up you'll be with them for at least a month they will guide you the gentleman is waving his hand salute them everybody congratulate them stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute please everybody rise we're rounding up stretch your hands towards a prayer request your request is here begin to speak prophesy prophesy over it in the name of jesus christ prophesy over it prophesy over it Lord, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Shabakata pradegede bele de bosh. Regeta tata tata pradegede bele de bosh. Lord, do miracles. Every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here, we judge that spirit. Every spirit, every covenant, every influence. Makata lato desetebe. Manda prendo so so prida bala da basca pratica de bele de bosh. Prato so pratica de bele de bosh. Every spirit responsible for barrenness here, yeah. responsible for any setback, in the name of Jesus we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus we challenge it. By the blood of Jesus we challenge it. Lord, let your people have testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ and you will stand to testify before the people of god in the name of jesus christ i pray now lift your hands and receive the prophecy I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of Jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion 
I arrest it right now. You will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are students, I pray for your academics. The exams that are about to come. Your best result in your various institutions. This exam is what will produce it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you record five points. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever has stagnated your family. By this anointing I declare. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has covered your glory. So that the glory of the Lord upon your life will not be seen. In the name of Jesus we tear that veil off. We tear that veil off. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Whoever needs to help you. Before next miracle service. I call them forth into your life. Mysterious helpers. Mysterious helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Fresh grace for prayer. Fresh anointing for prayer. Every lack of passion for the things of God. I kill it right now in the name of Jesus. Every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life, it dies a natural death here tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. With these hands that are lifted, go and begin to produce results. Go and heal the sick. Go and open doors for the oppressed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle marriages. We release those marriages right now. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs. We release those jobs right now. Please believe me as I pray. We release those jobs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death. That the devil has said you will not see the end of this year. In the name of Jesus we lift up that embargo. We lift up that embargo. Favor like you have never seen. Receive it right now. Open doors like you have never seen. Receive it right now. Breakthroughs like you have never seen. Receive it right now. I speak life to every dying thing in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever has rejected you, may they look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command prophetic dreams. Mysterious spiritual experiences. May God show you the solution to your problems. In dreams and visions. Whoever is behind the failure of your life. We command judgment upon them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy unto you. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Access to deep revelation. Access to insight in the spirit. Whenever they are looking for men to favor. May they find you. May they find you. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city and blessed in the country. You are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in. Every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of Jesus. I declare that the seal of the blood is upon you. You have no covenant with failure. You have no covenant with death. May God use you mightily. 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 I declare, may the mantle of honor come upon your life. That mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously. I release it upon your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The mantle of honor. I pray for you. Extraordinary intelligence. Levels of mental acumen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Extraordinary intelligence. I cast out the spirit of fear. Fear of the future. Fear of death. 
I rebuke it from your life in Jesus' name. And every depression upon your spirit, I release you from it right now. Every voice that has told you you will not succeed, we cancel that voice right now. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you. Passion for the things of God. Hunger for intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Grace for fasting and prayer. Genuine fasting and prayer. Access to spiritual power. Activations of the gifts of the Spirit. Visions and, and the move of the Spirit upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus. All those worshiping with us for the first time, please make your way to the front right now very quickly. We're really out of time. We have two minutes and we're out. Please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us. Some have come from far. Some from near different states. Please come. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Celebrate them. Koinonia, keep clapping. They are coming. May God bless all of you who have invited them. Their lives will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international mm -hmm. you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically I'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically I prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of Jesus Christ for one of you, the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before October. Your wedding will happen before December 31st. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree and declare over your life. You will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of God. There is someone here you are standing, you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch. One week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you'll have a few details celebrate them koinonia hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.